You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMAR 2 News top stories. A missing six-year-old found dead in a pond. Fawzan Hassan and his family were at a community picnic Saturday when the boy disappeared. His body was found in a pond at Borough Park in Gaithersburg. Sunday, Hassan had autism and nonverbal. More than 200 people, including police and members of the public, looked for him. Police say foul play is not suspected at this time. Well, the Dollar General store in Randallstown now features fresh produce. It is the sixth Baltimore area location to include fruits and vegetables. The Randallstown store, which is on Liberty Road near Merrittsville Road, was just remodeled. Dollar General said the produce sections include the top 20 items typically sold in grocery stores like tomatoes, strawberries, potatoes, and salad mixes. All right, he has shared stories of Orioles magic for decades, from broken bats to broken hearts, from Cal to Gunner, right here at this desk. And now he takes the mound at Camden Yards himself. WMER 2 News legend Jamie Costello threw out the first pitch today to start the O's doubleheader against the Toronto Blue Jays. And just like he promised, it was a fastball high and tight. The Oriole bird calling it a perfect strike. Jamie retired from news this past June after nearly 40 years of telling your stories on the air. Way to go. Summer comes roaring back over the next couple of days. We're talking temperatures into the 90s. Humidity putting our heat index near 100 degrees and then afternoon storms and showers. It's a slow start Tuesday into Wednesday, but we get there quick by the end of the week. Women's Pro Lacrosse up in Sparks Thursday, Saturday, Sunday has some afternoon storms and showers around. Temperatures feeling like 100 or warmer as we head to the second half of the week and even in the next week. Still 93 degrees, but starting to dry out by then. We're talking partly cloudy skies. We need the rain. Here's to hoping it lands in areas that have been really dry. Kelly. All right, thanks, Chris. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com all day for updates on your top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in your app store.